Hello Spartans Elite, welcome back to another Global Top 10 Attack. It's been a while since I've had a Global Top 10 Attack. Uh, MX Fuchs, I believe it's a Vietnamese word. My apologies, I don't speak Vietnamese. Before I begin the attack, as you guys see, I got the uh, I got the in-game chat up there. And uh, for those in or out of the team, just a couple of reminders. There's a reason we're on the verge of being a top 50 uh, TF25 task force, and that's because we have rules, we follow rules. Uh, our leader, Jersey, is doing a great job, and uh, it's pretty simple, guys. You follow the rules, you stay on the team, you don't, and it's hit the bricks. Uh, we're on a three-game or three-op losing streak at that end, and honestly, guys, before that, I know we took a couple of deep cut and massive attack losses, but we have an ultra-high winning percentage lately, and I think it's important if we're going to get back on that, we need to follow the team rules. There's a reason we lock out the baby bases so we can uh, have all of our heavy hitters doing the heavy work up at the end. Uh, Spartans Elite is not a place for duck hunters, so... Let's get back with the program and get back to some wins. Anyway, off my soapbox now. Uh, as I've been using lately, for all the big guys, it is uh, the TRM troop combo. So here we go. Actually, let me pause this real quick, guys. The reason you, you might have saw in the, in the activity log, I had like three quote-unquote failed attacks. Those are GBE attacks. I've been testing out... Uh, and you'll see here, I go two, two barrage, two artillery on these. I did the GBE math, and if I can get away with one barrage, three artillery, it initially saves a little bit of GBE. Uh, MX Fuchs here, I believe, has six ice, and that's right at the line of demarcation in terms of whether I can uh, save a barrage because as you guys know once you get to that fourth barrage good grief it's like 28 GBE and even by the time you get up to your fifth or sixth uh, artillery it's actually a little bit less uh, for the purpose of this video though I did have to go back to kind of my standard two and two you'll even see here there's a slight pause there it's like uh did I get away with it? And it's like, no, I still needed the uh, second artillery on that boom cannon, which just disappeared right there. Uh, standard deployment on the left. Again, we, we have no business being down here, none whatsoever. And every single shot cannon that we can avoid going through, we will. Rifles over here are going to distract this boom cannon. And it's, it's, it's the fairly standard approach that I use uh, with most of these corner bases with the laser. Uh, at some point, guys, I might consider showing you, sometimes on these corner laser bases, you actually can come right up the side, right up the right side, and avoid the left side completely. Not so much with these global players where they have six boosted ice but this very same base maybe I'll, maybe I'll bring it back if I can find it same exact layout or virtually identical but only three boosted ice and I'm able to come right up the right up the side here with this approach I'm waiting for this boom cannon to drop I do burn a couple of shocks um, which is normally something I save for the trip down coming through the shield gen but uh, if you look at it, I believe I still have about 64 GBE in reserve. And if you look at what I have to come through now, going down through the shield gen, there's only two boom cannons remaining. Now I have burned two uh, shocks already. And so that does mean the next time I throw a shock, it is going to cost me 17 GBE as opposed to 7. And then escalating costs from there. So that was a, it's kind of a trade-off, but you know, sometimes you, you, you try it, you see something, you try it, and here we go. So there's the first shot coming down that is the third total shock, and as you'll see towards the end, guys, I do get into the point where I'm running out of GBE. 
I still do have about 15 tanks at this point, still a lot of green. And because I have a lot of green, I want you guys to pay attention to this. Boom cannon, this one does not get shocked. Uh, I think I lose a tank or two, but I'm trying to save that shock because this guy is going to do the damage. Uh, as well as these sniper towers, guys. Again, not to underestimate what a sniper tower can do if it's just targeting you and you are firing away at something else. And I think you guys will see here, this guy actually picks off probably about a total of two tanks before all said and done. One more shot. See that boom cannon still alive, but like I said, started with started coming down from the from the uh, where the shield gen is with about 15 tanks. By the time it's all said and done, I'm gonna have less than half of that. Uh, but again, as I've always said, especially against a top 10 player, if the base falls and you get the win, then you know that's really all we're caring about. So that was it. I you know I considered flaring to the HQ here, but. Yeah, it, it was pretty obvious it was going to go down. I threw a heal there for some unknown reason. Uh, but again, guys, MX Fook, or however it's pronounced, number seven in the world goes down. And yeah, for anyone, whether you're in Spartans Elite or any top-level task force, uh, it's kind of a case, again, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Or in our case, when in Sparta, do as the Spartans do. We'll get back to our winning ways. Okay, guys, thanks for listening. Hope you learned, and I am out.